Why are you bleeding so much all the time? <laughs> like I did a flamingo with my boxers on. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is the long-awaited Blazer review. I've been skating these shoes for probably the longest time out of any skate shoe I think I've ever had, honestly. It's ridiculous. I got these back in January and I skated them a lot then. I stopped skating them and I put them back on and started skating them until they're this destroyed. Like I've got tape holding it up so I don't get holes in my feet. I also don't think I've skated a shoe for this long since I started skating. It's ridiculous how long these have lasted considering they're made out of canvas. Well, kind of. It's like canvas and suede, but it's just insane. Ew. This video is going to be of a couple of things. I got some vlog kind of skate stuff at the end of it, but we're going to start with a review because people always get mad when I don't have that at the very start. The amount of dislikes and the mean comments I've had in the past, it's crippled me. Let's take these puppies off. I want to show you guys them. I'm also filming with this head cam on because I've been skating and I've been sweating. I look ridiculous right now. I look like a dog just jumped out of water. The actual name of these shoes is the Nike SB Blazer zoom edge hack pack something like that like a mix of those words is like the correct name of this shoe it's one of the weirdest shoes i've ever seen and probably the coolest skate shoe i think i've ever laid my eyes on it's like as close as you can get to like one of those cool off-white shoes except it's not and it's not like a thousand pounds it's not ridiculously expensive because everyone wants it for no reason other than it being cool like the, the blazer version of the off-white shoe is one of my favorite looking shoes ever and this i think is the closest thing you can find to that in a skate shop but I think they don't sell them anymore because they sold out pretty quick. This tongue on it, this like kind of foamy distressed tongue is like so cool. And then with this extra white tongue in front of it, like it's just so cool. It's so sick. Chunky tick on the front, which is kind of destroyed on this shoe, my kickflip one. But on this one, you can still kind of see it. Thready tick on it. And then the other side's got like the proper... The grip on it is just like the basic Nike thing that you see on every Nike shoe, but I feel like this fits a little bit wider than like Janoski's. Janoski's hurt my feet, but these don't hurt my feet. These fit a little bit wider like Vans, which is why I like these. I usually get such sore feet when I skate Nike. Again, Nike, if you call it that. Like everyone always comments on these videos, you're saying Nike wrong. In the UK, we say Nike. I know people say Nike in America. Comment down below, which one's right, which one's wrong. What do you say? So my favorite thing about these shoes, I don't know why they have like my favorite type of kickflip on them the toe is like a little bit pointy so when you kickflip it just like jabs it out and it's just like bah! like it flicks so nice I feel like all my tricks just really jab out and are really sharp if you know what I mean they're really quick and they just they flip really fast when I'm wearing these shoes and then because the soles are so flat they just like land on the board and it feels nice there's not too much padding in these like the insoles really thin and the soles really flat I always find that when I skate shoes that are really padded or have a lot of protection on them don't have as good board feel as I do when shoes don't have that also does mean you do kind of hurt your feet if you land wrong or if you kick your board because you get mad they're not the best shoe if you don't like sore feet but if you can handle it and you like board feel I think these are gonna be sick for you guys if you want to try them by the way, I feel like this goes without saying this is not a sponsored review. I paid for these and this is just my genuine opinion and my genuine opinion is I love them. They're, they're really good. One thing that I wasn't too sure about when I got these, I had never skated a high top shoe before I skated these. I always felt like I didn't need that ankle protection. I felt like feel weird something hugging around my ankle and it kind of did it for us when I first put them on. I was like these might not skate that good because this does feel weird. I'm someone who's used to skating slip-ons that kind of like sit like this on your ankle really low. Your whole ankle is exposed. Exposed to all the board hits and all the road ankles. But then putting these on which kind of hug your ankle a little bit and feels a little bit like an ankle brace. It's quite nice. I feel safe and I feel like I'm not going to roll my ankle when I wear these shoes. But even though they do sit like a little bit higher on the ankle I felt like my tricks didn't really change. My ankle had still like all the movement that it usually does but it just had that extra little bit of protection on it because i've heard sometimes when people skate high tops like their kick flips are all weird or they feel like they can't move the ankle when it's all like really tight for me i didn't really seem to notice too much of a difference even though i think these aren't technically high tops they're kind of mid tops like a blazer mid it's ridiculous how good my kick flips feel when i wear these shoes though like since i put these on all kick flips have just been 
that little bit extra special like they're so nice one thing that is kind of annoying although it, you don't really notice it that much the laces will rip really quickly i think i ripped the first line in about a week the second line in about two weeks and then the third line in about four months into skating these shoes and it seems like this last one's a way to snap i could probably snap it yeah <laughs> but even though they are snapping a lot it doesn't feel that weird because the laces go like all the way up your foot if it was any other shoe a couple laces snapped it would feel completely different i feel like because the shoe is so pointy that's the only place you're gonna get a hole right on the tip of the toe when you're flicking out your kick flips or when you're ollies like i really like i do ollies with my toes for some reason i don't do it with the side of my foot well i maybe do like a little bit i'm starting to get a little hole but like not compared to the front of the shoe maybe a little hole here on the side because i started doing a lot of heel flips recently the sole is still holding up it's got like it's a little bit flat but i've been skating these and wearing these just consistently for like four or five months longer than any shoe that i've even worn like outside of skating it's ridiculous and they're still they still feel grippy they still feel nice to skate i wish i could skate them longer like if this wasn't breaking out this quick i definitely would skate these longer and i don't have any shoe goo and I do also have another shoe to try, so I feel like I should change them out. I don't know if you guys will be able to find this exact pair because they came out quite a while ago and I think they were sold out quite quickly in a lot of places. But if you search the internet or even StockX, like I, I'm sure I've seen these shoes on there. I think you can probably apply all the stuff that I've said in this video to most other Blazer Nike shoes, any Blazer Mid or any Blazer High Top. I think they all kind of skate the same just because I can't imagine it would feel any different. Thank you guys for watching this part of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, leave a comment down below what shoe I should try out next and i hope you guys like the next part of the video which i'm really hyped on i don't really film with my phone a lot but i really like the way this video turned out and if you guys are new subscribe because i'm making videos like this all the time okay i'll move the video Get the ninja kick. What? Ninja kick. I'm fine. <laughs> Ollie, this gap. What? what? Yep. Jacob, my phone's on 3%. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you got this, boy. No! <laughs> no fear. Go send. Oh! That was it. That was it. Oh! Is it sore? hurts to hear that every time oh, that thud so <laughs> the skate park shakes when you land like i feel it in my feet oh. 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 
You, sir, are the biggest sender I have ever met. That was fucked. That was hard. It looked hard. I hit my elbows or my knee. Like, can you believe that? <laughs> Bookmark it, bro. Honestly. The first Look time. Sweat. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm being fing exposed now. It's like a sweat angel. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's dripping my arm. <laughs> drip, drip, yeah, drip. It's brutal. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> It's raining. It is raining. I'm not proud. <laughs> I would be. Look, it's on my nose. Oh! Holy smoke. You exploded. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Look at your face, Mark. I want it longer. It was good. I know, but we're not longer. You know what's crazy? All these tricks have been filmed in about 1% of phone charge. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's about three minutes. Right, and you've done all this stuff. Right, we'll go quick. I'll get a big one. Big one. Big one. <laughs> oh! What the hell? <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I just filmed an Instagram where I was skating in my pants. I'll put it in. It'll make sense. Oh my god, imagine if I hit my phone. I was trying to do it all smooth. I can't believe I did that. I looked at it and was like, don't hit that, and I hit it perfectly. In future, just don't throw things. Just don't even throw it. Blood gang. Right, Michael, you hit my camera so I get one free shot. Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've discovered that skating in your pants is incredibly freeing. My tricks feel good. I can really pop my board with all this extra weight off me. Michael's gonna film a few tricks with me. You can stay there and you can zoom. He loves to zoom. You do. He loves it, he loves a little zoom. Why are you bleeding so much all the time? <laughs> like, last week I was bleeding here, this week, other side. I did a flamingo with my boxers on. I actually do, everyone does that. Come on, it's not the weirdest thing I've done. It's just not. It's not, watch this. <laughs> Michael the director, it's your Instagram bio for whatever reason. You always directed me to my videos, you write me the script in the morning, cut my leg, get in my pants, make a mockery of myself on the internet. You know what Michael, you're very sick. Very sick and irresponsible, honestly. What the fuck? You had that written at the end of the session, Aaron chips his board. No. Why? Why? I just set up that board, Michael. I'm not made of money. It's not like I have new spleen boards coming on the way. Very soon. Got a big build up for that. That's an Emmy award. Ricky Gervais, I am waiting on my Emmy. No, you watch, Ricky. I quit. <laughs> this is my last video ever.